Hey, Jay's Tunnel here. I got something cool to show y'all today. Um, whoo! And it actually really smells. But you've probably seen this stuff on the beach before. Uh, this is a big glob of it. Lots of times you'll find one, maybe two pieces of it. But uh, today we got something that um, I've seen people with uh, bags on. Uh, they're doing, they think they're doing a beach cleanup. So they'll go and they'll be picking this stuff up to throw it away because it looks like rope. It looks like something natural that shouldn't be on the beach. But actually, this is coral. It's a soft coral. And uh, it's a sea whip soft coral if you look it up. This one right here, a lot of it is yellow. But there actually are some other colors in here. Let's see if I can pull it out. Uh, here's like a darker red. Uh, you can, so they can be darker red. Uh, they can be orange looking. Uh, but most of the time you find them when it's uh, yellow. Uh, what's mixed in here right now, I can see some plume worm casings. Um, and, and then some of the, so I see a bunch of the black wire looking stuff. That's actually the same thing. So let me show you here. So you see this uh, black wire coming out? That's actually the skeleton. That's the skeleton of the coral. The outside is just a bunch of small uh, polyps. So it's a bunch of individual organisms making up the soft coral. Now, sometimes when you look at this, you'll, they, uh, whenever they're growing, they will attach to a shell uh, or something small like that. So I was gonna see if I could find one. I see a shell right here. Yeah. So let me see if I can pull this out here. Golly, man, if you could smell this. Think about the shower. <laughs> but if you see that, that is a shell that the skeleton's attached to. So it'll attach to something hard and then grow. And look at this one. How long do you think that is? Uh, I'm just going to guess, but I'm saying like three feet, maybe, uh, maybe longer. But uh, so these can, these will be just uh, growing. It'd be like grass. And what's what, what's really cool about this, and uh, you could YouTube it too. I don't have any footage of it on my own, but um, there's actually like beds of this stuff in the Gulf of Mexico. So maybe there's like a rock outcropping or something like that. And there'll be a lot of this stuff and it'll look like yellow grass growing and there'll be fish. Uh, in and out of it and that is what is really important about this stuff is it creates structure in the Gulf of Mexico where uh, in a place where there is very little structure and so you can imagine if you're a little bitty fish or a crab or shrimp or something like that you want to hide behind something otherwise you're going to be eaten real quick well this offers that and so you'll find a bunch of little stuff in there but then you also find some other bigger fish too because they're looking for the little stuff um, so next time you're at the beach, if you're doing a trash cleanup, thank you very much for that. Uh, we uh, very much appreciate when people are doing trash cleanups. Got to get that stuff off the beach. Keep, um, you know, sea turtles and birds, stuff like that from eating it. Um, but this stuff, you can leave it. It's part of nature. Just let nature take its course. It will eventually break down. All the yellow uh, parts of it will end up breaking off. You know, all the polyps will dry up, uh, break off. And then you'll just be left with this black uh, wire stuff that will eventually break up and stuff too. Uh, it'll be lightweight, go up into the dunes, and uh, it'll be fertilizer for uh, the vegetation. So, you know, the process is at work here. But anyway, I wanted to tell you about the Sea Whip soft coral uh, so now that you know uh, you don't have to pick that up in your next trash cleanup all right we'll talk to you later bye